Welcome to Fresh Juice FJ. Kindly subscribe. Thank you. Welcome to Fresh Juice FJ. Anas Armiao, Anas and Kwesi Nyan Techi. Well, we all know they've had a court case since, you know, Anas dropped that expose that exposed, you know, Kwesi Nyan Techi and, you know, what he was saying about the current government you know in regards to all the schemes and illegal things it was doing with ghana football association when he was the you know ghana football association president that got him fired well they've been in court up and down and you know the case recently they went back to court and question Techi is demanding that Anas should show him his face before, you know, they continue with their case and Anas has decided that he has no intentions of doing that to expose, you know, him and, you know, his security and the job that he does because showing his face to Kwesinyan Techi, anything can happen behind that, you understand? So he, so he made an official statement, so I'm going to take you through it. This is what the Tiger IPI dropped. This is he said, press release, Nyan Techi and lawyers to see Anna's face before court proceeding. We, Republic versus Kwesinyan Techi and another one. Tiger IPI. I has taken notice of the ruling by the High Court sitting in Accra to allow undercover journalist Anas Armiao Anas to testify wearing masks in open court on condition that he shows his face to the defendant in the judge's chambers first. Two, Anas had earlier agreed to testify as a witness for the prosecution in the above styled case after Ahmed Hussein Twale was gruesomely murdered on condition that his identity is protected. Three, Anas' request for the protection of his identity stems from his role as an undercover agent in the real and elevated risks that revealing his identity to the defendant will severely compromise his physical security and personal safety. Four, it should be recalled that the late Ahmed Hussein Twale, a star witness in this case, was assassinated in broad daylight in 2019. His assassination occurred on the same day that he had had engagement with the Attorney General's Office of his testimony against the defendant in above styled case. Five, prior to his gruesome murder, the late Ahmed Twale had been threatened with death by Mr. Kwesi Nyantichi and had been the subject of callous media attacks for his role as a star witness in the case, culminating in the revealing of his identity on national television and social media by Mr. Kennedy Japon, the MP for Asin Central Constituency. Six, as much as Anas is willing and ready to testify for the prosecution, doing so under the conditions specified by the court present a clear and present danger to his security and safety, especially because of the issues chronicled above. 7. Under these circumstances, prudence requires that he declines the invitation to endanger his life and accordingly declines the invitation to reveal his identity to the defendant in the judge chambers or any other place. 8. Tiger Eye endorses the position of Anas and states that it is proper and wise to err on the side of caution to avoid any potential attack on another of eight investigators. 9. Tiger Eye's position is further butchered by the unrelenting, coordinated and well-financed media and other campaigns by private and state actors to undermine its operation and the ANAS principle which stand in their way of amassing corruption and social injustice. Ten, nevertheless, Tiger Eye shall remain unwavering and relentless in its fight against corruption and societal ills. ANAS remains in high spirit and is grateful to the good people of Ghana for their support and and protection and so currently this is the press release Anas and Tiger Eye drop in regards to them testifying against Kwesi Nyantechi and this is a very smart move from Kwesi Nyantechi he knows there's no way Anas you know will show his face so this is a way to make his case a foolish case and I wonder why the judges will want an investigative 
journalist and undercover investigative journalist to show his face. And this Mohammed Swale guy I'm talking about it was one of the people who was working with Anas and he was, you know, uh, one of the people who testified against Kwesinyante and he got murdered. So Anas is basically saying that it's not safe for him to show his face. So he has declined, you know, that request to testify against Kwesinyante in only way that he has to show Kwesi Nyantechi his face. What do you think about this? Is Kwesi Nyantechi and some of the judges trying to play smart or, you know, Anas is just trying to, you know, play smart? Let me know what you think in the comment section. But currently, Charlie, that will be the news. So like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Fresh Juice FJ. Kindly subscribe.